Navigating Social Security, SSI versus SSA Benefits. Hello and welcome to our discussion on the differences between the benefits offered by the Supplemental Security Income, SSI, program and the Social Security Administration's, SSA, Retirement, Survivors, and Disability Insurance programs. These programs aim to provide financial support for people in need, but they have distinct differences in terms of the benefits they offer. What is SSI? The Supplemental Security Income, or SSI, is a federal income supplement program designed to help aged, blind, and disabled people who have little or no income. It provides cash assistance to meet basic needs for food, clothing, and shelter. The amount of SSI benefits a person can receive varies based on factors such as income, living arrangements, and state of residence, as some states provide additional supplements to the federal SSI payment. As of my knowledge cutoff in September 2021, the maximum federal benefit rate was $794 per month for an eligible individual and $1,191 for an eligible couple. What are SSA benefits? The Social Security Administration, or SSA, administers several social insurance programs, including retirement, survivors, and disability insurance. These benefits are earned by people who have worked and paid into the Social Security system through their payroll taxes. The amount of these SSA benefits a person can receive depends on their earnings record and the age at which they decide to start receiving benefits. For instance, retirement benefits can range greatly, depending on the individual's lifetime earnings and the age they choose to retire. Similarly, the amount of disability benefits is based on the person's average lifetime earnings before the disability began. What's the key difference? The key difference between SSI and SSA benefits lies in their purpose and eligibility requirements. SSI is a means-tested program providing benefits to individuals with limited income and resources, while SSA benefits are entitlement programs based on a person's work history. Moreover, the amount of benefits provided by these programs differ greatly. SSI payments are more uniform, with a maximum federal benefit rate. On the other hand, SSA benefits are based on the individual's earnings history, so the amounts can vary significantly from person to person. In conclusion, while both SSI and SSA programs offer important financial assistance, they are designed for different demographics and have different methods of determining the amount of benefits. It's important to understand these differences to better navigate these programs. We hope this discussion has been helpful in providing a clearer understanding of the differences between the SSI and SSA benefits.